So to initiate the event, please all welcome the Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship, Chair of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council of the Philippines, the founder of Go Negotio, Mr. Joey Conception. Last 14 years, Go Negotio has been advocating that the way forward for our country to succeed is that no Filipino should be left behind. Digitalization is not only pro-all, but pro-poor. This is why the Alliance has come together, together with Go Negosyo, created this massive event called Sign Up. Years and seven months na po ako sa Angkas. Dati po akong restaurant manager ng isang fast food chain. Six years po akong restaurant manager. Ang basic ko dati, nung restaurant manager ako ng isang fast food chain, 30 hanggang 35,000. Sa Angkas, sa isang linggo lang, kaya kong kumita ng 10 to 12,000 a week. Matambay maglabot ka, kahit anong menu ang gustuhin ay mahiyatid niya. May nalimutan ka ba pe? Nag-start ako in one unit, isang sasakyan, tapos sinama ko na si Pagatyaga, kasama lahat ng problema. Four months ako tumira sa sakyan, hanggang ngayon, may hawak na po ako ng ano, labing dalawang units. Uh, meaning, isa na po akong operator. Ito na ang pinakahihintay, magnegosyo sa Sa loob po ng tatlong taon, una po kinikita ko lang sa senya sa 2,500 po. Ngayon po kumikita na po ako na 15,000 pataas. A week po yon. Dati po umaasa lang ako sa asawa ko na kung magkano lang ibigay. Ngayon po kaya, kaya ko na po tumayo sa sarili ko po. Yung apat na anak ko po, yung dalawang anak ko po, kaalis na po, pinagpaaral ko po sa ano, National University Private po yon. <laughs> Our shop would not be able to reach what we have right now without those mentoring, coaching sessions, the techniques, the techniques that they are giving to become an effective seller. So, from a regular seller, we're able to achieve the goals, and every time na may goals kami, na ma max out namin our target. Nagsiyakap po ako na magmaniho, magdrive sa grab. So, maraming opportunities na makasama mo yung pamilya no? ng mas mahabang oras. Yung sa chakyat ko po ngayon, uh, more than 3 years na po, nakakuha po kami ng sasakyan at nakakuha din po kami ng bahay sa Kabiti. Kumikita ka na hawak mo yung oras. Dati po yung, yung sahod ko sa San Company ay 16,000 naman. Yung iba, sumusobra pa. President, he is happy that you have attended the summit and he sees a very good future for this economy, especially under the leadership of Mr. Joey Concepcion. I have made a commitment in the last 14 years and next year will be the 15th year of Tony Gosho. My mission is to help every Filipino out there succeed in life. But in the end, no matter what we do, we can only do so much to guide, teach, and mentor you. But in the end, it is your will, the right mindset that will propel you to success. 
and it has to be a teamwork. So again, you can bank on us that we will not stop till every Filipino out there has a chance to succeed in life. Thank you. Let us all welcome on stage the Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship, Founder of Go Negotio, Ladies and Gentlemen, Chair of ASEAN Business Advisory Council, no other than Mr. Joey Concepcion. Our efforts with this government, President Duterte, whose passion is to help the Filipino people move up in life, the private sector, together with DTI, DA, and DOT, are moving heaven and earth to really fulfill and help you fulfill your dream to become one of these successful entrepreneurs. Ang government naman po, DTI, nandiyan din ang DOST, Science and Technology. Pagdating mo sa mga product development, mga new R&D uh, discoveries, and uh, mga research output ng DOST, pwede po ninyong gamitin kung wari ito po ay magpapabilis sa proseso ng inyong pag-weave or kahit anong produkto. I, I felt really excited about being here. Uh, I thought the Philippines provided one very important aspect, which is, it's a country that really gives you the ability to live with purpose. That you, whatever you do, has an impact beyond just money. Let's talk about legacy. And a legacy to me is about giving a contribution, not a recognition. Every day you create your legacy. I had my standards of excellence that I, I wanted the people to live up to and that, that motivation came from my desire to be able to inspire my audience there's a real emotional engagement that I kept alive with my audience and yeah if you can call that part of my legacy then yeah it is supportive community. So hanapin niyo yun sa buhay niyo. Someone who can guide you, mentor. Uh, a woman community, a woman chat group. Lahat po kami takot. Walang tao dito na walang anxiety. And I think what nakakatulong yung magpe-prepare ka talaga. Be the best you can be. Learn as much as you can. Ang nakakatulong sa akin is when I recite scripture to myself. I think that the fear actually should just empower you. We are happy to report that after six months in office, I mayroon marami na kaming bagong programa para sa millennials, para sa kababaihan, para sa mga gustong mag-farming at mag-agri-negosyo. So palakpakan natin si Joey Concepcion at uh, talaga naman Go Negosyo is one of the best in terms of advocating, promoting entrepreneurship in this country. This is our next forum, Women, Women of, of the, the world. world. Being a woman of the world is really trying to find a solution to problems that are happening not just here locally, but also globally. 
in my business, I just don't want to encourage women to be beautiful on the outside, but I also want to encourage women to be beautiful on the inside. First, is start in a belief in yourself and um, set goals for yourself. Challenge yourself to, th to, to achieve things that you don't think is achievable, but you need to put that goal there. Secretary Mon Lopez and myself have been pursuing the vision of giving every struggling entrepreneur out there a chance to succeed. Together with the Alliance here of 30 chambers and organizations, we are committed to this vision. I believe that by unity, cooperation, and hard work, we shall achieve our aspiration for our country and the good life that we always wish for the Filipinos. Let us work together to realize our hopes and dreams for our people and nation. Kaya ba natin to? Kaya! Magandang, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon to everybody tuning in right now. Good afternoon mga kanegosyante. Ako po yung inyong go-negosyo mentor at moderator para sa hapon nito, RJ Ledesma. And welcome sa ating go-negosyos Mentor Me Online. Ito po yung ating libreng negosyo mentorship program para matulungan natin ating mga aspiring micro, small, and medium enterprises para palakihin, palaguin, at maging successful ang kanilang mga negosyo. Mapapanood po ninyo ng libre ang Mentor Me Online araw-araw mula lunes hanggang benes tuwing alas 11 ng umaga at alas 3 ng hapon. At kanino umaga po, maganda rin po yung topic kasama ng aking uh, kanegosyante moderator na si Ms. Chal Lontok. Yung topic kanina po ay Crisis Management for Food and Retail Businesses. Nakasama po si... Uh, Chairman ng Golden ABC o yung pen shop, Mr. Bernie Liu. Yung presidente po ng Philippine Franchise Association, si Ms. Cheryl Quintana of Orispa. And last but not the least, Mr. Ricky D, CEO ng Foodie Global Concepts. Siya po yung nagpapatakbo ng mga mesa. So maraming salamat ulit. Kung gusto niyo panuorin kung anong mga strategiya po ng mga retail businesses, please click on Go Negosyo Official para mapanood niyo yung talk kaninang umaga. O sa lahat mga nakikinig kayon, Hello, say hi. Please make sure to comment on the comment box. Please let us know kung saan kayo nagagaling ngayon. We want to know where you're from from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us. Mga kaibigan ko si uh, Boss Anthony Orais Lut Luterio. We have Vince Maliari, Tete Pacheco. We have uh, Christopher Deo Campo. We have Marco Antonio. We have Lafayette, Alvarez Lim all the way from Davao and Leo Adonis Posadas. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon. Guys, makinig kayo dito ngayon. Make sure na kayo po ay magtanong, matuto at manalo. Tumutok lang po sa Mentor Me Online Facebook live stream dito po sa Go Negosyo page. Magtanong sa ating mga Go Negosyo mentors sa comment section at pagkatapos yan, i-like at i-share ang aming Facebook live stream sa inyong mga Facebook accounts. Mag-watch party pa kayo at maaari kayong manalo ng free book mula sa Go Negosyo. Habangan ang listahan ng weekly winners sa aming negosyo, Go Negosyo Facebook page, mag-comment lang ng inyo mga mensahe at mga aral na natutunan mula sa ating mga Go Negosyo mentors. Maaari kayong magkaroon ng chance na ma-feature sa ating Go Negosyo mentor comment of the day. Please use yung aming hashtag, hashtag MentorMeOnline at hashtag Free Negosyo Mentorship. Ay, ito po, ngayong hapon ito, I'm very, very excited for our topic this afternoon dahil makakasama natin yung mga magagaling at matitinik pagdating sa digital industry dito sa Pilipinas. Kung I'm sure po lahat kayo ay nakagamit na or narinig po yung mga kumpanya nila. And right now, we will teach people. We will talk about going from brick to click. How to bring your businesses online. So mga hindi pa sanay kung tinatawag na brick and mortar, yung mga physical businesses. 
Kung gusto niyo ng tulong kung paano maging online ninyong negosyo ninyo, makabenta kayo online, kumuha kayo ng mga res- mga mga orders online o kung gusto niyo na mag- magkaroon ng online delivery, dito lang kayo tumutok. At makakasama po natin ngayong hapon na ito ang ating mga go negotiate mentors to specifically discuss about the turning point or how to turn your business online or sinasabi nga nila how to digitalize or to digitally transform your business. Unang-una po, yung presidente at CEO ng Grab Philippines, ang guwapong-guwapo, si Mr. Brian Ku. Brian, thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon. Oh, we really appreciate your presence. Brian, batiin mo lahat mga fans mo. Lagi kang nasa, nasa media ngayon, Brian. For uh, all the right and wrong reasons. Uh, <laughs> hapon sa lahat. Uh, I hope everyone's keeping safe and staying home. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm very excited to share yung mga learnings namin dito. Uh, yung mga natuklasan namin while we were running Grab, especially now during the time of uh, home quarantine and COVID. Opo. We do hope that uh, we're able to share things uh, that will help you in your businesses. So, tumutok lang kayo dito. Marami mga insight na napulit si Brian habang sa habang meron tayong enhanced community quarantine. Baka, Brian, you can also tell businesses kung ano tutunan mo sa mga malilit na negosyo na pumunta sa inyo para magpatulong during this time. That will be very, very helpful. Next, we also have kasing guwapo po ni, uh, ni Brian Ku, yung presidente at CEO ng Lazada, Philippines, si Mr. Ray Alimuro. Ray! Kumusta ka dyan? Hello, kumusta kayo lahat? Thank you, RJ. Thank you so much uh, for joining us working today. From home tayo. Working from home tayo ngayon, pero uh, gusto ko lang pailam sa inyo lahat na, na yung mga logistics teams po ng Lazada are not working from home. They're all out there. <laughs> They are on the front lines delivering essential goods to people, uh, food, medical supplies. Uh, nandyan po yan hanggang ngayon. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to sharing uh, and this and talking with all of you. I'm sure marami ka rin na nakuha mga insight uh, uh, rate uh, dahil sa sitwasyon na ito. And uh, last but not the least, ito na interview ko to, noon po uh, sa aking TV show na Bright Ideas uh, na lumalabas sa One News Bloomberg Philippines. Siya pa yung founder ng Murang Gulay Philippines at uh, ng Bigas PH. Mga kaibigan, uh, siya pa rin kasama po sa Bigas PH. Uh, si Chris Valdez. Chris, kumusta na Chris? Hello sir, hello sir Brian and sir Ray. Yan. Uh, oh. Magandang hapon po sa lahat ng nanonood sa kanilang mga bahay and I hope everyone is safe. Okay. Stay at home. Chris, bago lahat, no, I'm sure yung mga tao kasi medyo alam na nila kung ano ginagawa ng Grab Philippines at kung ano ginagawa rin ng Lazada Philippines. Pwede mo lang, pwede mo lang ba ma-explain sa ating mga nakikinig dito ngayon kung anong ginagawa ng Muray Gulay Philippines, Murang Gulay Philippines at bakit kayo online? Anong ginagawa ninyo? Yan sir, kasi nga no, nag-enhance uh, community quarantine, nalimit na yung movement ng mga tao. So, y- yung mga ayaw nang mamalengke, kami na yung gumagawa nun. Kayo, na mamalengke. Na, Kayo yung namamalengke para sa kanila? Para sa, para sa kanila. Dinideliver na sa kanila and uh, babayaran na lang sa rider namin. Or mas advisable namin na cashless para limit din yung pag-transfer ng virus. Ano? Pero yun yung oh. mainly ginagawa namin. Okay. So, ginagawa nyo cashless yung negosyo nyo noon. Pero bago nyo, anong negosyo nyo noon? Uh, bago na crisis, ang gina- pa- bakit kayo na online na? Pakisabi, sa- pakisabi lang sa amin kung uh, ano ginagawa ng negosyo ninyo sa Bigas PH. Sa Bigas PH, is a, a, mobile, a mobile app na siya. So, uh, download mo lang yung app, click mo anong varieties ng rice yung gusto mong order eh, tapos i-deliver. Pero si Murang Gulay, before mag-enhance uh, community quarantine, Meron na rin siya, nag-exist na rin siya, pero mas dumami dahil nga uh, lately nawawala na ng supply ng gulay even sa mga supermarket, no? Mm-hmm. So yung mga tao medyo nagpapanic buying. Ang nangyayari, yung ibang hindi naman nakakalabas ng bahay, nauubusan na siya ng vegetables. So kami yun yung kami yung pumalit doon. So parang uh... yun yung Amis B. So Parang kami yung gano'n. Ah, so parang, namin. kumbaga nakita mo yung opportunity sa krisis na ito bilang isang startup na, naka, na naka-digital na na online yung order. Sabi mo, oh, makakatulong pa rin kami. Kahit may krisis, imbis na bigas, ito, tulong namin muna sila mag, uh, mag, uh, ma, ihatid, mabumili at ihatid yung gulay sa bahay ng inyong mga kliyente. Hindi pa ba? Yes. Ba? Actually, si Murang Gulay kasi, ang nakalagay dyan, Murang Gulay at iba pa. 
So, <laughs> so, 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 aside from morang, aside from gulay and seafoods, meron din kami mga essentials like alcohol, disinfectant, na deliver namin ngayon sa mga bahay ah, and mga okay. hospitals. So, murang gulay at iba pa. Ayan, maraming salamat. <laughs> oh, eh, maraming tayo nanonood, nanonood ngayon. Mulang Pangasinan, Pililia, Batanes, San Mateo Rizal, sa Benguet, Zamboanga, Legaspi, City, uh, Lapu-Lapu, Batangas, maraming sa Baguio City, Cebu, Bau. All around the country nanonood ngayon. So, maraming salamat sa mga na nakikinig. Sana matulungan kayo para gumawa kung kayo po ay mga uh, business entrepreneurs at mga, may mga maliit negosyo, kahit maliit, malaki, uh, importante po ngayon at, at sasabihin po mamay ni Brian, pati ni, ni Rene, kung bakit importante maging digital yung mga business ninyo at paano, ano yung first step para maging digital o ilagay sa internet o online yung mga negosyo ninyo. Pero bago po tayo tumungo dyan, uh, kausapin muna natin si Brian, tumungo muna tayo sa, sa negosyo ni Brian. Brian, ito po, uh, nung nagsimba ka, pwede mo matulungin yung ating mga entrepreneurs na nakikinig ngayon, di ba? Uh, since uh, nagkaroon ng enhanced community quarantine, eh syempre lahat ng negosyo ay nagsara, hindi makakatrabaho ngayon. I'm sure sa Grab, nung una sabi nga nila, oh, bawal lahat ng mga drivers ninyo. And bigla ngayon, pwede rin yung mga Grab food. So, pag sabi mo sa amin, uh, what's happening right now uh, sa negosyo mo and how are you managing during this crisis time? Brian? Actually, medyo roller coaster ride siya nung simula. No? When uh, the ECQ was announced, um, and all public transport was stopped. Uh, kasama kami doon sa public transport, yung TNBS. So overnight, I'd say 70-80% of our business disappeared. Oh, oh. Uh, so even if digital kami, online kami, at the end of the day, we still provide a physical service. No? And uh, we weren't able to provide that physical service anymore. So, uh, so malaking impact uh, talaga siya. So, and aside from that, we weren't sure kung pwede namin ituloy yung aming uh, grab food delivery service. So, we made a decision as a team na tigilan na. So, overnight we went from, in Metro Manila, overnight we went from you know, providing car, food, deliveries to providing nothing. Oh. Uh, this was, I think, from Sunday to Monday you know, when the ECQ was announced. So, it was a very painful decision. But uh, luckily, we were able to clarify na nalinawan po natin na ang food deliveries ay kasama sa essential items at uh, na online naman natin ang grab food. Mm. But syempre, compared to before, uh, marami sa ating mga rider partners na na, na natatakot bumiyahe, yung iba, or yung iba na, nalilito, natatakot sa checkpoints, uh, natatakot magkasakit. Um, of course, we want to make sure of their safety, so we provide them with PPE equipment. Uh, uh -oh. We promoted uh, cashless and contactless deliveries um, and took other measures. But our rider supply is by more than 50% uh, from pre-COVID, uh, pre-ECQ to post-ECQ. Uh -oh. So now the only business we have functioning are Grab Food and Grab Express um, because those are the only businesses that are allowed. Um, pero tulong na rin po to sa ating mga rider partners um, as an opportunity for them to still uh, make money even during this time. At pati na rin sa mga SMBs, mga malilit na mga negosyante na may mga food stores na kailangan, may staff sila na kailangan sweldohan. Um, pati na rin sa ibang mga chain outlets there, katulad po ng Jollibee McDonald's. Siyempre may mga staff rin sila na kailangan tuloy-tuloy nilang sweldohan. Oo, oh, um, tama. Oh. Ang tulong ng food delivery um, dahil min na minimize niya ang uh, ang pag titipon tipo ng tao so we kept um, adherence with the social distancing policies um, while still meeting the essential food needs of a lot of a lot of uh, our mga kababayan out. Oh, so Brian, sa, sa, sa negosyo mo, yung ginawa mo, at at least may isang portion ng negosyo mo, I think 20% ng negosyo, sabi mo noon, mga 20% ng negosyo mo ay, ay, ay grab food. So at least dyan, uh, tumatagbo pa yung negosyo dyan. Uh, ano ginagawa mo mga, mga management naman po, especially, di ba, important, so, lagi, nilang, lagi nilang sinasabi sa crisis na dito, kailangan alagaan yung inyong mga, mga tao mo. What do you do to take care of also the people during, in, in terms of this crisis? So, uh, Right after binawalan ang public transport, no? so marami, may 50,000 driver partners tayo na uh, 
left left hanging wala silang source of livelihood uh, nag-shift kami to medyo solutioning mode crisis mode paano na yung matutulungan ng mga part- partners na ito um, nagsimula kami by talking to the banks so kinausap namin yung mga banko para mag-delay magbigay ng grace period sa amortization para dun sa uh-huh. sasakyan uh, yun yung una pangalawa nag-release kami ng emergency loan um, para sa aming mga partners at uh, just today nag-deliver ang uh, nag-deliver ng three container loads of bigas sa aming uh, driver center wow, uh, salamat salamat para may uh, ma-distribute sa ating mga driver partners na alam natin hindi pa diyan uh, baka wala nang wala nang pondo um, para bumili ng groceries so hopefully this would help Again, uh, maraming salamat Brian. I'm sure lahat naman tayo ay uh, uh, nagkaka-problema nung una, di ba? But uh, syempre, uh, mag- yung mga ganda nakita ko sa inyo, syempre, uh, you, you're, you're a resilient entrepreneur. Ibig sabihin, dami mong nadaanan ng problema noon sa, sa Grab. Hindi lang tayo naging una mong problema. Maraming kang problema din sa past. Uh, sa, sa Maraming kang mga crisis na nangyari noon. Hindi lang ito. At uh, ano masasabi mo lang sa kanila? What do you have to have in mind pag crisis time lang? What, how do you... Parang siyempre, siyempre lahat mga entrepreneurs dito nakakaproblema. What do you just have to keep in mind habang may crisis? Ano dapat, ano dapat mindset niya? Well, for a lot of entrepreneurs, no, pag nag-crisis, na-overwhelm. So it's important to step back and really consider what's important. Uh, and and very, very, maging malinaw kung ano yung mga next steps na kailangan gawin. Kasi hindi naman lahat yan kay, kayang solusyonan na agad-agad. Diba? Some things need to be addressed first before others. That's number one. Number two, other than focusing on operations, there's a big PR angle also to everything you do. Um, mabilis bigyan kulay ang inyong tulong sa sabi ay imamasama ng mga tao. Uh, we need to be careful also in what's released, how we say it, be sensitive to the times. Uh, but don't be shy to help. No? Uh, we need to be able to uh, um, address the concerns um while being sensitive so Tama. it's a it's a medyo mahirap siya na balance eh. it's operations to make sure that your operation is still running and nakakatulong kayo and from a pr angle and a messaging angle um dapat medyo i guess to an extent foolproof di ba? uh and and make sure that the the pr is whatever you're doing is communicated in a way that's seen as really healthy Oh yeah, so importante rin yan. I, I, I like that. Not importante, uh, may relevance ka rin yung, may, may relevance pa rin yung kumpanya ninyo during times of crisis. But kasi importante yan, relevance kasi nakatulong kayo. But re, uh, dapat bantayan ng ating mga entrepreneur na tama yung marketing communication or yung communication message na ginagawa ninyo uh, during times of crisis. Oo. Yes, it's easy to confuse uh, help, but you wanna, you wanna help to trying to profit from it during a time of crisis, right? So, mm. uh, balance that um, and, and, and make sure that it's seen as more helping than trying to profit. Uh, tama, tama. So, uh, uh, medyo mahirap ko, but congratulations uh, and then more power to you for your Bionian spirit. Brian, kung marami na tingin ngayon, si Koy Bat, good friend, Koy Batazar, thank you for watching. And of course, Sam Versosa of uh, Front Row. We also have Katam Gabonada, Ivan Mandi, and Ed Paras. Thank you so much for listening to us here right now. Kung yung mga tanong kayo, please let us know. Uh, Dito naman tayo kay, kay Ray Alimurong of Lazada. Okay, Ray, syempre kayo, you, you are a logistics business online shopping and logistics business at the same time. Uh, please let us know a bit more. Ano nangyari po sa negosyo ninyo nung naka-ECQ? At uh, how, is, how is your company coping with, coping with ECQ ngayon? Kaya pa ay tuloy-tuloy ba yung trabaho o natigil pa yung trabaho ninyo sa Lazada? Okay, so nang nagsimula po yan na uh, uh, RJ no and mga viewers no. So in the beginning hindi hindi pa namin sigurado kung ano yung ano yung mismo yung mga policy no. So syempre sinubukan namin mag uh, magpatuloy ng pagde-deliver. Okay, pero apparently merong confusion regarding uh, cargo and parcel no. Uh, yung unhampered cargo malinaw po yon. Kaso doon sa parcel merong kanya-kanyang interpretation at the LGU. So at some point napansin namin na medyo uh, hindi reliable yung pag-deliver natin ng tinatawag nating last mile. So when we realized na yun ang nangyari, what we did was we suspended our logistics operation. In fact, what we went as far as putting uh, advisory on the website, no, on the app. 
Oh, oh. Stating that Lazada has suspended our logistics operations. Ig sabi nun, you can continue to order, pero yung mga lead time, yung mga delivery promise, eh, nag-extend lang yan. Mm, no? oh. Anticipating the time when the quarantine will be lifted. Uh, so we did that in order to be transparent to the customers. No, We didn't want to continue to take your order. Uh, tapos, di pa lang namin madi-deliver. No? Uh, ngayon, May lumabas ang IATF, uh, Inter-Agency Task Force, ng mga IDs no? for what we call essential industries. So, syempre, nag-apply kami dyan. Meron kaming uh, IDs na ganyan. So, as we are getting those and all the other delivery companies are getting those, we are restarting the operation. In fact, we sent an advisory out yesterday na Lazada is now uh, allowing you to order what we call essential products. No? Ah, so, so pwede na. Ano yung mga essential products para al- alam rin ng mga tao ngayon, especially mga nakikinig dito ngayon, kailangan ko ng essential products sa mga bahay nila. Ano ba mga essential products yeah, yan? So, yeah, so actually, para walang confusion, eh, in-adjust din namin yung app namin para yung makikita mo yung essential products. So that is actually, if you look at the interagency task force advisory, they call it uh, medi- eh, food, uh, medi- medicines, uh, well, kasama na dyan ang mga vitamin, supplements, no? Uh, medical supplies, which is yung mga mask and surgical gloves, PPE, ganyan. And then what they call personal hygiene or other essential products. Siyempre, kahit nasa bahay tayo, eh, kailangan maligo, maligo pa rin tayo, no? Sana, uh, sana. So, oh. of course, the baby, yung mga baby, kailangan pa rin ang diaper, no? Oh. Uh, uh, kailangan maglaba pa rin. So, laundry detergent, kasama yan. Okay, so that is yun yung focus ngayon ng app namin. So if you go to the Lazada app now, you will see on the homepage, yan ang makikita mong products. No? So yun, uh, yun, yun yung parang pivot ng negosyo mo, ito yung parang inayos yun muna para sa panahon ng krisis, yung, yung negosyo ng Lazada. That's correct, yes. Uh, and then, anong gina- di ba sinabi ni Brian kanina na sa negosyo mo nila, almost 80% ng negosyo uh, tumigil dahil walang, 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 uh, grab, uh, walang grab car. So, anong, anong may, may nangyari ba sa inyo? Tumigil ba yung negosyo ng, uh, ng Lazada nung nagka-crisis? Well, nagka-crisis? yun na nga, no? for one and a half weeks, nakasuspend yung operations. Huh? So, wala po tayong delivery during that period. Uh, so, ngayon pala nagre-restart. Although, na, 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 na-maintain namin yung Last Mart. No? So, we have a grocery business called Last Mart. Yun, that was continuing the entire time. But, uh, you know, Last Mart is a very new business on Lazada. Mm-hmm. And the mm-hmm. coverage of Last Mart right now is really only Greater Metro Manila. No? So that's basically Metro Manila and Calabar Zone. So that's the coverage of Last Mart. So although uh, we were operating Last Mart, medyo it's a small part of the business. Uh-oh. Um, the other thing we started to do is to drive uh, donations. No? So today, Lazada has raised around 11 million in donations. Wow. Uh, wow. Thank you to partners. No? So we're very, we have uh, very strong partnerships with uh, Red Cross, uh, uh, Kaya Natin, uh, UNICEF, uh, and a few others. No? So that's ongoing now. In fact, we saw that ramp up uh, very recently. Pero actually, yung donation portal namin, matagal na yan. No? Pero ngayon, siyempre, talaga nag-ramp up ngayon sa, during this crisis, no? Kasi oh. the awareness is really there. Oh. So, no, importante na nakikita ko sa, sa halimbawa mo, sa Lazada, pati sa Grab, is talaga, yung ating mga kumpanya talaga have to do their, have to do their work. That because sila po ay part ng community at ecosystem, uh, kailangan din tumulong kayo sa mga kung anong nangyayari ngayon. And you're able to use your expertise, your social media presence para makatulong sa i- ibang tao. Uh, Ray, ito naman, ma- matanong lang sana, uh, pa- paano mo inaisikaso yung mga tao niyo dito ngayon during this crisis, during work from home? Uh, si Brian sabi niya, sometimes they have to provide some loans or they have to give 13th month. Anong ginagawa ng, ng, ng Lazada naman para sa mga tao ninyo? Yeah, so, syempre, there are multiple ways to answer that. No? Merong yung current ECQ and then merong anong gagawin kung mapahaba pa ito. No? So, yung second one, eh, we are obviously discussing that already pero wala pa tayo doon. No? But in the interim, uh, we advanced, uh, what we did were several things. No? Nag-advance kami ng payroll. No? So rather than pay it at the end of the month, we paid it earlier. Okay. Uh, the other thing we did was we started offering a, sa- a salary loan from inside. No? Uh, and uh, many of the employees actually availed of this itong salary loan natin. No? Uh, ngayon, kung humahaba pa itong quarantine, eh, syempre, we have to look at other, ano, uh, other ways to help our, uh, our staff. Oh, nakikita ko dyan na lahat, lahat tayo kahit sa kumpanya ko, we were, we were prepared for a one month at least paying the salary. 
and maybe some amount of prorated 13th month. But after that one, mag-usap tayo ulit kung humaba pa yung, yes, ating, exactly. uh, yung ating lockdown. Exactly. Mukhang yan yung common denominator ng lahat ng mga kumpanya. Tama ba ako, Brian? More or less ganyan, no? Anyway, so we'll move on. Uh, kay, kay Chris naman, kay Chris Valdez ng Bigas. Chris, alam ko na ikaw ay isang startup business. That, uh, maraming, ba kayong, maraming, ba, maraming ba kayong tao dyan sa Bigas PH who are, uh, who are hired by the company? Ano, ang kagandahan sa Bigas PH kasi yung mga tao namin is mostly mga uh, uh, relatives or friends namin. So, hindi kami ganun kadami pa dahil nagsisimula pa lang. So, uh, nakocompensate naman, well compensated yung mga nagdi-deliver, ganyan. O, pa- paano ngayon? So, biglang uh, biglang nagka-lockdown, yung ECQ. Paano yung mga, yung mga kaibigan, mga kamag-anak na nagtatrabaho para sa inyo? May, paano sila nakakukuha ng sweldo o, o pera? Tuloy-tuloy pa rin naman dahil nga yun ang advantage naman namin ano, kasi kukunti lang kami. So, kaya pa naman namin isustain yung mga uh, kailangan nila. Ah, okay. So, uh, yung nakita ko dyan, parang nag-pivot kayo. So, uh, nandiyan na rin, kumbaga nandiyan yung infrastructure para ipag- or logistics para ma-deliver yung rice. O say, walang rice. O sige, gawin natin gulay at iba pa. So, yan ba, yan ba yung ginawa ninyo, Chris? Tama ba ako? Yes, ganyan, uh, yes, ganyan po. Okay. But ano, ano nangyari yung disruption sa negosyo ninyo? Ano nakita mo ng kailangan ayusin na nag-pieces? Maliban pa, no, sa, maliban pa sa produkto, uh, na, na produkto, ano pa ibang ginagawa ninyo? Okay, yung sa first week, medyo nahirapan lang kami dun sa deliveries, ano? Kasi from Nueva Ecija, medyo magulo pa yung checkpoint sa NLEX. Oo, oo, oo. Ano ginawa uh, dyan? Uh, kumuha pa ng food lane sa Department of Agriculture. Kami kumuha ng mga IATF ID sa DTI. So yung IATF ID naman, mabilis from the DTI. Sa DA lang, sig- siguro dahil napakarami ng farmers... Medyo nagkalito-lito and medyo hindi lang uh, siguro na-orient mabuti yung mga nagche-checkpoint. And sa LGUs din kasi, sa bawat lugar, iba-iba sila ng ano, uh, iba-iba sila. Guidelines. Guidelines. So, uh, pag sinabing bawal pumasok to, hindi nila pinapapasok. Ang concern nila is yung taong papasok kesa sa ano ba yung ipapasok ng tao. Ah, Ganun. okay. Ganun concern sila. Um, so, pamisan-misan kasi yung nakikita ko dyan, nakalusot sa isa, pero isa-isa, ito, okay, palusot dito. Dito naman, hindi pa di palusot dito, di ba? Yan yung nangyayari pa minsan-minsan, di ba? Yes, okay. g- ganun po yung nangyari, Sir RJ. Okay. Uh, balik, so, marami salamat. Thank you so much for the insight. At least, al- alam ng mga tao po, kailangan gawin ng mga kumpanya, maliit man o malaki, pagdating sa mga panon ng krisis. Ngayon naman po, uh, marami na tatanong ngayon, Brian, pati Ray, uh, about their businesses right now, na sila ay mga mga maliliit na negosyo, uh, iniisip ko nila, ano, ano yung first step na gagawin ko para mag-digital? Ang ibig sabihin ba ng digital, uh, kailangan ko ilagay yung negosyo ko sa Facebook, uh, magpapadeliver ng produkto ko sa, uh, ilalagay ko yung produkto ko sa, sa, uh, sa Lazada. Can you please help us baka i-break down uh, pag may mga tao gusto gawin online yung negosyo nila, ano ang iba't ibang aspeto na kailangan tingnan nila sa mga negosyo nila? para maging online o magamit yung yung or yung uh, social media or online para lumaki yung negosyo nila. Sinunod ko natin kay, kay Brian. Brian, ano mga tips mo? Marami kang negosyo na dadaan na eh. Yeah, well, for us, ang uh, pinaka-focus namin ngayon is really grab food, no? To help offline merchants come online. Um, and marami talagang opportunities dito kasi some some merchants, uh, up to 40% ng benta nila Grab food or other delivery partners na ang uh, provide So uh, it's really a boost because it expands your market coverage eh, from you know the little store that you have to a- anywhere from zero to uh, five kilometers around you. So talagang malaki at tulong niya. Um, and, and simple lang naman. You don't need anything special to go online. All you need to do is contact us or contact any other delivery partner um, and, and sign up, and then you'll be listed in the app. Now, once you're on the app, marami kayong ibang pwedeng gawin para ma-promote ang brand ninyo, like uh, purchasing ads or coming up with promos, working with us to uh, come up with special deals para po ma-push up to the top of the list ang brand ninyo um, at mas makikita. And uh, we've seen a more than four times conversion rate, uh, meaning umaakit yung negosyo nila by 4x if nag-advertise sila wow. in the app no, on, on Grab. 
Okay. Um, and then uh, you know for homeowners out there na walang uh, um na walang uh, physical space, walang restaurant pero may kitchen magaling magluto, pwede rin mag-sign up as a dark kitchen. So yan tinatawag natin na cloud kitchen. So hindi mo kailangan ng walk-in customers, lahat ng customers mo gagaling sa online. Online lang, oo. Oh. So, so, pwede, actually, so kahit ma- maliit na kusina, pwede ka rin maging uh, kasama ng, ng mag-grad kitchen. Pero Brian, paano, paano magsisimula rin? Kasi siyempre, yung mga tao lang, hindi pa marunong mag... hindi pa marunong... hindi nga walang negosyo lang sa Facebook. How should they start off? Uh, may Facebook, may, may SMS, may ano. What do you recommend for really yung mga ating mga malilit na negosyo para magsimula, mag-digitally transform yung negosyo nila? What should they start with? Honestly, with the small, yung mga malilit na negosyo, I would, you know, try and stand on the back of giants like, you know, Lazada's there, uh, Grab's here as a platform. Uh, the benefit of being on a platform, malaki na po ang eyeballs at user okay. base. Okay, sorry, Brad. Uh, ba, ano lang. Okay, explain lang yung ibig sabihin ng platform ba? Kasi baka yung mga tao di alam ko okay, ibig sabihin ng platform. So, oh. platform, in the offline world, para siyang mall. Diba? Kung may maliit ka na tindahan, um, at gusto mo may customers ka, pwede mong ilagay sa isang side sidewalk or side street or pwede mong ilagay sa mall. Siyempre, pag nilagay, nilagay mo sa mall, may foot traffic na yun. Marami na pupunta. Ang platform, uh, digital platforms like Grab or Lazada um, or even, even Bigas uh, PH are places online that uh, mimic the benefits of a mall. Um, because itong mga digital platforms na to, may foot traffic na siya in, in the digital world, may eyeballs na siya, meron ng mga users na gumagamit at nagbubukas ng app or nagpupunta sa website at araw-araw nilang you know, ginagawa yun, nagbubukas ng app or pupunta sa website. So being on that gives you a leg up you know, and gives you leverage already uh, versus coming up with your own website na gagastos ka pa for your own marketing. Um, gagastos ka pa to gain users um, which which is not cheap huh? in, in, uh, in these days. No? So by leveraging on a platform if you're a new user, that's the easiest way to get online and get oh. users right away. Malaki ba yung gastos ko kung mag-online ako? Brian, bakit natin tanong tayo? Ibang tao iniisip, baka pag nilagay yung restaurant ko dyan, may gastos yan or nilagay ko yung produkto ko dyan online, baka may gastos yan para sa akin or mag-advertise ako sa Facebook. Baka yung... Yes. How do you think? Paano dapat nila pang isipan yan? So, karamihan ng, ng uh, online platforms ay walang upfront cost. So, they can sign up uh, for free um, pero may commission. So, on a per sale basis, per, per unit sold basis. Which is maganda kasi kung, alam mo, hindi ka nakakabenta. Kung nasa mall ka, hindi ka nakakabenta. Nagbabayad ka pa rin ng rent. Eh, pero uh-huh. kung sa online platform, kung medyo mahina benta mo, uh, variable siya. So, hindi ka nagbabayad ng fixed uh, cost by for being on the platform. That, that's oh. with, with Grab. No? So, uh, other platforms may have other types of uh, arrangements but at least with us, for food, pag naglagay ka ng restaurant mo at sabi natin, today mahina benta mo, uh, por- portion lang of your sales is what you will pay. Okay. Maraming salamat, Brian. Uh, dito mo tayo kay Ray. Ray, ito naman. Uh, marami mga mal- Actually, uh, marami akong mabasa may mga malilit na negosyante. Sinasabi nila, pa- paano kami matutulungan ng mga negosyo kagaya ng, uh, ng, ng Lazada para palaki yung mga negosyo nila? They have there from, ano, uh, may dito ngayon, may mabasa ko, agriculture, uh, construction mm-hmm. supply, uh, lahat-lahat na. Uh, pa- paano, po, paano, po mag- paano po ginagawa? Ano po yung negosyo ng Lazada? Pa- sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, Paano makaka- makakatulong yung Lazada sa mga malilit na negosyante? So, so RJ, no, gaya nga na si sabi ni Brian, no, yung Lazada is a pong platform yan. At uh, yung, yung, uh, yung responsibilidad ng platform ay uh, mag, ano, mag, uh, mag-increase ng users, no, whether it's customers and sellers. No? That's the first function ng platform. Now, yung second function namin is to give tools to the seller para ma-manage in business niya. So actually, if you sign up as a seller, merong chat service dyan. You can talk to uh, the customer. Uh, there is uh, mga tools that allow you to run promos, things like that. Uh, you can join a campaign. No? So mga tools yan. Yeah. The third function of the platform is to uh, govern. No? So what we do sa platform is, syempre, sinisipa yung mga scam seller, scam buyer, ganyan. No? 
And then the fourth thing is yung matchmaking. Now, we want to make sure na yung customer, pag ginahanap yung product mo, yan na nakikita niya. Right? So, may personalization dun sa, in, sa, sa platform namin. Ngayon, the small seller or mga MSMEs no, that want to go online. No, maraming kailangan, uh, there are a few questions na kailangan sagutin. No? First of all, which part of your business ang pwede mo ilipat online? No? Mm, uh, oh. Today, obviously, if you're selling digital products, no, madaling usapan yan. No? Pero if you're not selling, there's still a way to sell it as a voucher. No? We, in fact, dun sa digital goods store ng Lazada, we have many vouchers that are for sale for restaurants, uh, actually, insurance. Uh, you can you can buy a lot of products and services in the form of a voucher. Now oh. they have to now redeem potentially in a physical location. Oh, at yung kagandahan rin pa para pa may interaplan sana kita bilis lang. Kasi magkatay siya sabi mo ngayon. Ah, uh, isa yung isa yung strategia sa in times of crisis, especially for mga food mga food businesses pati yung mga services ay eh, mga salon, mga massage. Kasi ngayon walang kita yung kanilang mga negosyo, baka pwede sila ngayon magbenta ng mga gift voucher or gift certificate sa Lazada para ma-redeem pagkatapos ng, ng crisis at, ma, at bukas ulit yung mga mall at yung mga tindahan. Kasi Absolutely. ngayon wala, walang, walang kita ngayon yung mga tao. Kawawa, okay. kawawa naman yung mga, yung mga yeah. yan. No, no that's, work, no pay. That's exactly, yung, that's exactly what I'm saying, no, RJ. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to consummate the transaction now. Eh, sorry, the, the, the service now. You can sell the voucher in advance, no? Mm. Uh, so all you need to do is put up a store in Lazada, get verified by the digital goods team, then tapos may store ka na, no? Uh, although for digital goods, I have to say, medyo we are stricter sa Lazada, no? Kasi mas prone yan to fraud. Ano ibig sabihin ng digital goods para mas maintindihan ng mga... Uh, yung mga vouchers. Vouchers. Voucher, okay. uh, yes. We have to be a little bit stricter there. Okay. Pero there's, yeah. Now, for a normal store where you're just selling your products, no? You can actually sign up. Uh, on your own at midnight in five minutes without talking to uh, any human being. No, Ganun ang, the, it's that easy to sign up now. No, uh, and actually, if you are an individual seller, not a big, uh, not a enterprise, you can actually uh, sign up without business documents. We just need your ID. No, ah, so, so ID lang. You are ID an lang. individual seller. No? Individual seller ka lang. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. If you're a business, simply we will ask you for your documents. Pero if you are on our main marketplace today, uh, not Last Mall, uh, main marketplace, not Last Mall, not Last Mart, actually, wala ka rin commission. No? We only charge a payment fee, which is simply a pass-through. Uh, that's a very small percent. No, there is no Parang transaction commission. fee. Transaction uh -oh. fee parang ganyan. Yes, hindi uh -oh. siya commission. Payment fee siya. No, okay. It's to handle the processing of the credit card or the COD. Basically, pass-through cost yun. So actually, if you think about it, no, you can set up a store on your own within five to ten minutes. There's no commission, uh, and you don't even need to have a business. You can be an individual seller. Ayan, so uh, so lahat yan pwede mangyari. Of course, the only challenge ngayon dahil na quarantine tayo is uh, being able to deliver uh, kung may physical product ka. So obviously, if you have a physical product, medyo iba dapat ang approach, medyo digital good, voucher, ganon. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, then matanong lang kung ano mga produkto pwedeng may limit limitada ba yung mga produkto na pwedeng ilagay diyan sa Lazada? Kunyari, uh, construction supply pwede pa kayo diyan? Agricultural pwede ba kayo diyan? Uh, so agricultural pwede. Pwede 'yan. Uh, of course, uh, the thing is we have to have somebody who sets up the store, no? And actually is able to pack their goods, no? Hindi naman pwedeng we're not going to be moving uh, e e corn in an open truck, no? So, kailangan nakapack yan in a way na deliverable. Yung tawag natin, e-commerce ready packaging. No? It, it cannot move in the way it normally moves. Nangyari on the way to the market. Iba, iba kailangan. Yung construction, definitely, pwede, pwede yan. Again, same thing. No? It has to be packaged in an e-commerce ready style of packaging. Uh, mm. But actually, uh, and today, during this quarantine, no, siyempre, food will be prioritized. So, we will prioritize the movement of agriculture, food, probably over construction materials. Pero you can, you can list both, for sure. Okay. Uh, ano klaseng food? Dapat yung uh, ready to eat, ready to eat uh, frozen food, or food na ano, yung talagang ready to eat? Today, hindi pa handa ang Lazada to do what we call fresh and frozen. No? Mm. Kasi yung logistics network ng Lazada, hindi siya designed to handle fresh and frozen. Uh, it will just lead to a bad customer experience. Kasi baka mapanis, 
Oh, uh, oh, oh during uh, transit. So definitely, uh, ideally, it's uh, longer shelf life food. Makan food, more sturdy. Good. One good, bigas, pwede yan. Uh, Chris, pwede bigas. Yes. Pwede bigas pala, pwede bigas. Yes, uh, we, we do milk. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yung milk pala, we confine that only to Lazada for security for the, for the parents, no? Pero oh. definitely, canned goods, uh, most groceries, basta hindi fresh and frozen, pwede yan. Oh, so basta medyo mahaba yung shelf life ng pagkain niya, yung importante, yung pwede lang i- ideally, oh. ideally oh. mag-carry ng Lazada. Thanks so much, Ray. At ngayon kay Chris naman, no? Chris, Ay, yung nakita ko kasi yung kaiba na sa negosyo mo nung naisip mo kaagad, ikaw ay may isang small 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 startup or small entrepreneur na inisip mo kaagad na digital first yung negosyo mo. Hindi mo inisip mo yes. na physical store. Digital first. Paki-explain lang sa ating mga nakikinig ngayon, paano mo naisip yung negosyo mo? Kasi inisip mo yun, oh, paano ginagawa yung digital? Paano niya, na, paano niya nakaka- nakakakuha ng mga kliyente? Paano siya nakakuha ng, ng mga goods? Kasi baka, baka yung sa karanasan mo at masabi mo na baka makakagawa sila ng parang uh, bigas PH sa kanilang mga sarili-sarili mga bayan. Alam mo nung una sir na hirapan kami, no? may hesitation kami dyan kasi sino ba naman ang order online ng bigas? Eh, nagkalat ang supermarket. But uh, dahil nga risk taker kami, so sabi namin, i-go natin to. And hindi uh, ko naman masasabing swerte, ano? pero yung yung nung nag uh, ECQ nga nagsara ang mga malls and sa supermarkets naman bago ka pa ma- makapasok sobrang haba na ng pila oh yun yung naging advantage namin sa Bigas PH so nung una kasi yun yung inisip na namin paano ba kami makakapagbigay ng convenience sa mga customers paano nila matitikman yung bigas namin without leaving their house para mamili pa So kahit nasa office sila, pag naubusan na ng bigas, tumawag na yung helper or yung mga asawa nila, pwedeng-pwede ka nang umorder, i-deliver na sa bahay nila. So ganun yung naging um, inisip namin from the very beginning. Oh. Pero pero al- alam ko, dako usap kita noon eh, na interview kita noon sa sa sa, sa show ko sa sa One Bright. News, Bright Ideas. Uh, yung una naging parang iritasyon mo na naging inspiration para dito ay Uh, masarap talaga yung bigas mula sa May Vicea, di ba? Parang ganyan. So, talaga, yes. sinagawa, yung, yung ginawa niyong negosyo, sinabi mo is that, uh, kung matatransport kong bigas na to from May Vicea to clients, at basta makikita nila talagang mataas yung kalidad ng, ng bigas namin, people will come back to us. Pero, you did yes. not choose to go to a physical venue para mabenta na pinili ninyo na maging digital. Bakit yun naman napili digital over a physical venue para magbenta ng rice? Unang-una, no, pag uh, physical store kasi ang daming babayaran. Ano? <laughs> Hindi naman sa ayaw namin magbayad. Kaya lang physical store, ang dami mong uh, iaayos na documents. Uh, pwede pang... Uh... Ay, nako, nawala. Nawala ng una si, uh, si uh, tawag dito si Chris. Uh, bago lang, inuuli ko lang, we're talking about digital transformation, how to bring all of your businesses online. Kasama ko yung si Brian Ku ng Grab at si Ria Limurong ng Lazada. At babalik po si Chris Valdez ng Bigas PH. Kung may mga tanong kayo sa ating mga panauin, please make sure to comment below to let us know more about these things. Ako, mas maraming sumasama sa atin sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas. Thank you so much for talking to us here right now. Let us know kung saan kayo ngayon galing uh, as you're coming online. Now, next question lang, um, both to Brian and to Ray. Yes, Brian. You raising your hand? And then, Sagutin ko na yung tanong ni Rosel Thomas kung pwede po ba ma-online ang short shelf life like Shopao. Oh, sige, please go ahead. Oh. Uh, Shopao, Shomai, you know, lahat yan pwedeng, pwedeng ma-online, no? Uh, I guess, isa sa mga uh, kinaibahan ng uh, platform ng Grab at uh, platform ng Lazada is Grab does uh, same day fulfillment. Well, instant fulfillment. It's just like ordering food. No? So, kung yung mga Shopao nyo, Uh, gusto yung ma-deliver ng mainit pa, pwede nyo ilagay sa grab food. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo uh, uh, frozen, pwede nyo rin ilagay sa grab food. Ngayon, kung shelf stable naman yan, na pwedeng 3 days, you know, kahit next day ang delivery or up to 3 days, pwede nyo naman ilagay sa Lazada. Hindi mo na pwede ilagay sa grab food yan. Kasi for us, the minute you order, automatic nagahanap na kami ng driver para ipadala sa'yo. para kunin yun na uh, in order at dadalhin doon sa customer. Um, wow. So, pwede siya. 
Pwede siya. No, guys, yung susunod na t- tanong ko, hindi really, di ba? Sinasabi nga nila, Brian, I'm sure, baka alam mo ito, no? di ba? Sa, sa may, may Chinese character para sa crisis, di ba? Sa Chinese character na crisis, ibig sabihin may opportunity rin sa crisis. Di ba? May mga opportunities sa crisis. Sa panahon na ngayon, I'm sure na habang maraming problema ngayon, may nakikita kang yung mga, mga new business opportunities na lumalabas as a result of this crisis. Can you share with us some business na kita mo? Uy, ito pala, okay pa na ito. Or, or pwede pala itong gawin habang, habang crisis ito. What are you seeing uh, opportunities or innovations na lumalabas tayo sa crisis na ito? Um, it's less of, you know, less of opportunities outside of what we're doing already. Ang nakikita namin is there, there's opportunities that we've identified during the crisis. And uh, after the crisis, still... We have ideas on anong magiging post-COVID world, di ba? Uh, matatakot ba yung mga tao lumabas? Uh, hindi na sila pupunta sa mall? Eh, yung mga ganung usapan, pero it's yet to be seen, eh, to be oh. honest. But Bakit? during this hmm. during, during the, this crisis, ang opportunities na kita namin is not outside of what we do, but really how opportunities opportunities in expanding uh, what we're already doing for for grab food no in particular like for, for uh, example ano nakita mo diyan parang opportunities na lumalabas sa grab food dahil well, sa ito so we just launched grab mart uh nagpartner kami with uh, a few we see a great deals oh diba yes with great deals and uh another supermarket uh chain uh, mm-hmm. i cannot announce yet here okay nagalit sa akin PR namin <laughs> uh but uh we'll soon be able to deliver shelf stable products wala pa rin frozen and wala pa rin gulay na uh, katulad ng ginagawa ni uh, Bigas at PH hopefully we can work with Bigas and uh, be able to provide their products on the platform also uh, but there's opportunities in fresh delivery now the question is will those opportunities continue to exist after oh uh, i think you know even in the US no si Walmart isang malaking food food chain doon um it gained a lot of online grocery users. And in, in, in general, in the US, da, mas madaming na ngayong gumagayat ng online grocery. Um, ang tanong is, will that kind of behavior continue after? I'm not yet certain um, of how it would look like post-COVID. Uh, I, I, I'm sure Ray will have his own uh, opinions. Um, but I, I still want to I guess hedge our, our bets um, and make sure na na hindi kami all in and believe that everyone will do online shopping. Tama, um, tama. I think people but, still want to but, basically check produce. Um, but it's an area that we are exploring. And then ito naman, Brian, I'm sure na yan yung opportunities para sa Grab. Ano nakikita mo opportunities para sa mga ibang tao? Like for what do you see as opportunities for food businesses? What do you see for opportunities in general also? Na lumalabas because of, I'm sure na nakita mo yung mga trends eh. You can also share with opportunities na nakita mo na pwedeng gawin na ibang tao. Yes, so for food businesses, no? Um, again, it goes back to online. A lot of the merchants na kausap namin before COVID na ayaw mag-online ay ngayon tumatawag na gusto na mag-online. Oh. Uh, isa ka, isang isang uh, category of merchants um, like this are the uh, uh, ramen restaurants. Well, ramen hindi nagpapa take out yan. Oh. Then, naghahanap na sila ways to innovate on their product for delivery for online. So I think that will persist all the way throughout. Once they create a ramen that can be delivered. Oh. Tuloy-tuloy na yan. It's not just during COVID, right? Once they prove that it can be delivered and still taste as good as it was in the store, I think tuloy-tuloy na yan even after. So that's an opportunity that I really see. Those restaurants that are still not online, consider going online na or consider creating a menu for online. Kasi menu really... lang. Specific menu lang na pang online lang. Yes. Okay. Salamat, Bright. Uh, kay, kay Ray naman dito, Ray, anong nakikita mo mga opportunities rin uh, para sa mga small business entrepreneurs or other opportunities that you've seen na emerge during uh, this crisis period? So ako, I'm going to point to uh, two things. No? This crisis has created a very high awareness about health hygiene. 
Uh, so, oh. And I think that will not go away after this crisis. No? So if you have a business that can capitalize on that, for example, local version of uh, disinfectant, uh, even even medical equipment uh, that protects frontliners, I think this would be a very good basis. You know, one thing that uh, we started to see was all these local producers of PPE. Because oh. oh. uh, apparently we do not have a local uh, industry for this. Uh, PPE, masks, things like that. No, uh, And also now these disinfectants. Now we saw everyone with a shortage uh, uh, across the board. So I think this awareness on health will be very high, health and hygiene. So any business that capitalizes on that, I think, has a good uh, runway no, after the crisis. Um, pero the, the other big awareness that happened during, during COVID no, is the awareness of being able to do business digitally. Uh, I agree with Brian. No? The, we're not sure. We, I don't think everybody will start to do online shopping automatically after the crisis. No? Pero Ooh. definitely, it will be on everyone's mind. All businesses will try to develop a digital strategy. No? So if you have a product, uh, any product, I would start thinking about how can you get that product to be uh, paid for, paid for digitally. Oh, okay? oh. And then the second thing is I would ask myself, how can you get that product to be delivered either remotely or digitally? Okay. Uh, so I think this is something that, you, you know, every business needs to think about because I think there's a huge opportunity. Of course, kung ikaw si Zoom at na, ikaw na isip mo yung video conferencing, eh, mas verte ka talaga. Right? But uh, I, I don't think putting up a video conferencing business like Zoom is an opportunity for everyone. But definitely uh, thinking about how to offer products digitally to get paid digitally and to deliver remotely should be part of the business uh more tama so right now so talagang kailangan i-consider niyo noon kasi yung mga tao inisip nila dapat ba ako makaroon ng digital payment strategy dapat baka maka digital online hindi na siya nice to have it's now this is really a want to have na lumalabas dito especially here in the philippines na malakas yung social media penetration at maliban nga diyan sabi mo it's very important right now i think people even Brian was saying for the small, for people who are doing food business, is that you know it's not just that you can deliver to the house, but then think about health and immunity products and services. It it might be the next big thing uh, after this business is done. Alam natin ngayon na si sinabi ni Jeffrey S. Guerra, pumunta kaniyan sa mga sa mga drugstore ubus na yung mga vitamin C nila. Wala lang wala kana ng makukuha dito ngayon. So it's really going to be a big business coming out of this. Uh, Chris, medyo na na nabitin ka kanina sa mga explanation mo. Do you remember your last statement? You were talking about. Paano nyo na nagawa na bak, bak isip nyo na maging digital in vista physical yung inyong negosyo ng Bigas PH para makatulong tayo sa ibang mga gusto mag uh, online business kagaya ninyo? Ah, okay, Chris, atin muna. Medyo, uh, the, your audio is not coming out yet. Uh, can we get our people back behind the scenes to check out uh, what's happening muna to the audio of Chris? Chris, can you check again? Kung uh, gumagana na? Ayan, Chris, okay na. Okay. So, okay. pa-explain lang ulit, pa-explain lang ulit paano nyo nagawa ito at paano nyo pinalaki yung inyong negosyo online? Uh, so, startup entrepreneur kasi, no, usually kinoconsider dyan yung uh, location ng store, yung mga BIR, yung mga permits. So, para sa amin, mas madaling mag-set up ng online business. Kukuha ka lang ng, uh, papagawa ka lang ng digital app, ng mobile app, then you can uh, start selling na, no, na hindi masyadong mabusisi with the BIR permits. Of course, with the legalities, we secured our per permits, ano, pero uh, yun nga, yung easiest way, kaya din namin talaga pinasok yung online platforms. Like, um, ang mga tao nagbababad pa, usually ng ilang oras sa Facebook. So, naisip namin, ang mga tao, pag nakita nila na may bigas PH online, madaling mag-order mag sa kanila. Ah, uh, Okay. So, uh, so yung, yung ginastos na ninyo, wala kayong physical space, di ba? Wala kayong brick and mortar, wala kayong talagang store. Pero kanyo, parang, parang ginawa nyo, yung app ninyo, yan na yung nagiging store ninyo. So, ano yeah. talagang, ano, at, at yung nangyari pa dyan, uh, yung permits, ibang klase, wala kayong permit para sa store. Permit lang para magnegosyo, di pa ba? Yes, kumuha, din la, kumuha lang kami ng BTI, kumuha kami ng SEC, ayan, ng mga barangay permits. Pero unlike yung uh, kukuha ka ng physical store na mag-deposit ka, mag advance ka dun sa mall or sa isang physical store. Yun na less yun. So, less expenses yun para sa gusto mag-start uh, ng business. 
online business. So, ano talaga? Ano talagang pinakamalaking gastusin pag ikaw magsa-start ng business na online imbis na talagang may tindahan ka? Uh, anong pinakamalaking puhunan sa paggawa ng app? Sa anong 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 kaya anong saan talaga saan ka talaga gagastos diyan pag uh, paggagawa ka ng sariling store na gagaya mo na, na may app? Ang gagastusan mo yung magma-manage ng app. Yung gagawa ng videos, yung magmaman uh, mo sino kung ilan na yung umorder sino uh, magta-track kung ilan na yung na-reach nung online Uh, nung products mo online. So, yun lang yung medyo gagastos ka ng konti, no? pero worth it naman. Worth it naman. Okay. And then, uh, ngayon naman, moving forward, ano nakikita mo rin? Kasi kanina natanong ko kay Brian, pati kay Ray, kung ano mga opportunities na nakikita mo uh, na pwede gawing negosyo ngayon? Ano, what, are, what are the opportunities, opportunities in crisis na nakikita mo? Hindi lang para sa negosyo, pati sa ibang tao na nakita mo, uy, okay pala to ah. Uy, okay pala to ah. Ikaw, Chris, ano nakita mong opportunity bilang isang entrepreneur? Ako lagi kong sinasabi talaga, yung food business hindi talaga namamatay yan. So, nung nag-ECQ, nung nagkaroon ng crisis, uh, nawala yung ibang business, pero yung food tuloy-tuloy, yun yung isa sa hindi ko talaga binibitawan na paniniwala. And at the same time, uh, wag tayo matakot going digital. Sabi ko nga, after the crisis, siguro matututo tayo na yung mga Uh, mga farmers, pwede natin silang turuan how to be uh, digitally advantage, digitally advanced, na turuan sila to go digital kasi sayang yung mga produce nila kung hindi lang na ma-market. Oh. Para matagal rin, so, yung mga, matagal rin yung mga middleman natin para diretso na sa yes. farmer. Benefits. Pwede na nilang ilagay sa Lazada, tapos pwede pa nilang magamit si madiscarding boss ng Grab, parang yung ginagamit ko. Yeah, okay. So, pwede sila makapag-sell. Salamat, Chris, for that insight. Si, si uh, Boss Ray, kailangan mauna na. Maraming pang trabaho sa Lazada. But, Ray, ano yung last words mo para sa ating mga entrepreneur dito yung nakikinig? How would you like to inspire them para tuloy-tuloy pala yung takbo ng negosyo nila or uh, yung inspiration nila para magnegosyo sila after the COVID crisis? Well, uh, RJ, no? I think like what you said, no? Uh, when there's a crisis, there's an opportunity. No? And I think it you are truly entrepreneurial, you will find the opportunity uh, because the other businesses will be trying to do yung existing nilang business, no? but true entrepreneur will look for the opportunity and capitalize on it and who knows, so that could be very, very successful down the road. Okay. Uh, Ray, you know, Ray, ka, Ray, yung gusto, mga gusto mag-sign up sa Lazada, how can I do it right now? Maraming tatanong, I want to sign up in Lazada, gusto kong sumali sa Lazada, uh, anong proseso po niyan? You just go to the app and click the sign up on Lazada and uh, medyo intuitive naman yan. Uh, okay. Again, maraming salamat, Ray. Ingat ka dyan. Maraming salamat sa tulong mo sa bayan. Good luck. God bless. Thank you so much. Uh, now, just first, just a couple of, couple of more things. Mag-wrap up, mag-wrap up na rin po tayo dito. Salamat sa lahat ng mga nagtatanong dito. Hopefully, we've covered most of your questions. Pero kay, kay Brian naman, what do you think would be that new scenario? Diba sabi mo kanina, uh, kaya po sa kumpanya, nag-iniisip na ninyo, paano babago yung mga behavior ng mga tao pagkatapos ito, uh, magkakaroon ng tinatawag na new business normal kasi may social distancing na, uh, yung mga tao baka wala pang kumpiyansa lumabas dahil hindi pa tatapos yung COVID outbreak, uh, uh, then maraming pang ayusin sa mga ekonomiya. What do you think what will change digitally? What do you think will change, especially mga habits ng mga tao when it comes to doing digital and uh, physical? I think uh, there's a lot of people who uh, have not tried digital that ended up trying digital dito dahil sa COVID crisis. No? Mga hindi po nag-try mag... Uh, I mean, even with us, we saw a lot of new users on the platform. So, the only, pro- <laughs> the only problem that we have now is we're not able to provide the quality service that we were able to do pre-COVID dahil nga kulang tayo oh. na kulang tayo ng riders. But I don't see a lot of complaints. I think naiintindihan naman ng ating mga users na talagang mas mahirap mag-deliver ngayon. Um, but just the mere fact that they've tried it, hopefully uh, there will be more users. No? So on the user side, the dami ang users na uh, nakasubok at uh, mapapatuloy sa paggamit ng digital platforms. So that that trend has always been there. I think this will accelerate uh, accelerate us because of uh, because of this crisis. So, so that's an opportunity. So feeling mo mas maraming 
Uh, kasi yung mga tao ay hindi mo na lalabas sa mga bahay nila pagkatapos nito. Uh, mas maraming gusto magpapadeliver. And, and yung feeling ko, pa, para ba yung ba sinasabi mo, Brian? Well, kasi if you think about food, katulad nga sabi ni Chris, hindi, hindi nauubos ang food business eh. So you, can, you cannot go wrong with the food business. It's not much selling something that's good. But there are so many instances of meals in a day. Mahilig tayo kumain, Pilipino tayo, mahilig tayo kumain. May breakfast, may, may lunch, may snack, may dinner, may after dinner, may dessert. But <laughs> meal opportunities. So kahit naman pa siya mga tao, magiging top of mind ng food delivery. Tama, so, tama ka dyan. Even if the family that used to go out can still go out, but at night, midnight, kung dati hindi sila tinatamad na sila lumabas, <laughs> diba? no change in their movement behavior, pero ang magbabago niyan, ay, may delivery na pala. Pwede tayo mag-deliver ng ating you know, papitsa naman si daddy sa habang na rin ng sine after dinner. Or, ayan, uh, ayan. So, so mga opportunities. So I, I do think that the opportunities of SMBs, small medium businesses, Uh-oh. that will push for online, uh, will see a bigger market for consumption of online services after this. After this. Uh, Brian, sa mga gustong uh, sumalit sa Grab Food, Grab Bionian, Grab Mart, at lahat ng Grab, uh, can you please explain kung paano sila, uh, pa- paano sila mag-apply sa Grab? Apunta lang sa website namin, so grab.ph, uh, and follow the steps there uh, for Grab Food or uh, Grab Mart, uh, and uh, we'll contact you. Maraming salamat, Mr. Brian Koo. And then, Mang Chris Valdez. And Chris, anong nakikita mo mga trends para sa mga, ma- mga malita entrepreneur? Ikaw nakita mo yung trend, nakita mo yung opportunity. Biglang nag-pivot ka, inayos mo para biglang gulay at iba pa. So, ano yung mga nakikita mo mga uh, moving forward para iiba yung, uh, yung behavior ng mga tao pagdating pagkatapos ng COVID? At ano magagawa natin para naman tayo pa itulutuloy yung negosyo at magagamit natin? Hindi siya... Hindi, Hindi sa masama, di ba? Yung pagkagalit mo, kahit may, kahit mo bago. Kahit new normal, eh. Kasi ngayon yung bagong normal, anong gagawin natin sa bagong normal? Paano natin ayusin uh, yung negosyo para sagutin yung mga tanong ng mga consumer natin? Ayan, ano, yung naging uh, nakita nating opportunities dyan, nagkaroon ng isang malaking community collaborations, ano? Lahat uh, nagkaisa para magkaroon ng business ideas after this COVID, this uh, pandemic, ano? Uh, nakikita natin na mag, uh, marami talaga yung gustong uh, from traditional business going to digital. Kasi yun yung nakikita nila na talagang kahit walang pandemic, yun yung magiging in na talaga. And uh, nakikita natin, ayan, uh, we have to partner dati. Natatakot tayo na makipag-partner with the Lazada, with Grab. Uh, pero ngayon, nakita na natin kung, kung wala tayong sar- sariling logistics, we have Grab. Kung wala pa tayong uh, mobile app, we have Lazada. So, nagkakatulungan yung isa't yung isa, isa. Hindi natin kailangan ng hard-hitting competition. Ano? Nagtutulungan. Tama, na, tama. Uh, brainstorm tayo ng ideas. Paano tayo babangon after this pandemic? Tama. So, maganda dyan. Yung lumalabas dyan, importante ngayon. Nakikita mo yung importansya ng kolaborasyon. Di ba? Kolaborasyon yes, yes. sa mga... Hindi lahat ng tao, hindi yan natin competition mo. Hindi mo kailangan mag... Hindi mo kailangan gumawa na sa logistics kung may logistics na available. Diyan yung kasabi mo. Kung may supplier na available, diyan yung kasama mo. Dahil yes, lahat, kayo, lahat naman kayo ay kikita. Especially in this yes. uh, digital environment. So, again... Maraming salamat, Mr. Brian Ku, and thank you so much, Ms. Chris uh, Valdez. Thank and of you course, so much, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ria Liguro, maraming salamat for joining us here today. Ang gusto lang ayun sa, 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 sa uh, may pinahabol lang si Ray Snab niya kanina, for those who want to sign up on Lazada, please go to their account on the top of the app and click on Sell on Lazada. Again, Sell on Lazada. Again, Brian, thank you so much sa servisya mo sa bahay and to grab food. Thank you so much, Chris, sa gulay at iba pa. Malibang pa sa bigas. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Thank you for joining us. So guys, please feel free. Alam ko magtatrabaho pa kayo. But before everything else, I just like to inform everybody. We'd like to invite everybody na nakikinig dito ngayon. Uh, sa lahat ng mga freelancers, entrepreneurs, a lot ng mga negosyante, I invite you to please join me sa Bounce Back page, sa P, uh, Bounce Back Facebook page. Kasi sa Bounce Back Facebook page, yung ating mga entrepreneurs at mga negosyante, tinutulungan po natin yung mga frontliners natin. So kung gusto nyo mag-donate sa mga frontliners, if you're looking for people to donate to, whether it is uh, medical supplies, food supplies, 
pwede po kayong tumulong dyan. At uh, kung gusto niyo, gusto niyo tumulong sa mga at-risk communities, ibig sabihin yung nangangailangan ng pagkain, ng tulong, ng medical supplies, pwede rin po kayong pumunta dyan. At especially sa ating mga entrepreneurs, if you want to find ways to connect sa inyong mga kapang entrepreneur, mga networks, mga advice, or, or, or future business, pwede ko yung pumunta sa Bounce Back page. So again, please follow Bounce Back page. At uh, itong plugin ko lang po, yung negosyo ko po ay Mercato Central. Yan po yung pinakamalaking food market sa buong bansa. At ngayon po, ngayon po dahil sa crisis, hindi po kasi yung Mercato Central, uh, yung physical business namin. Pero bukas po yung aming delivery business, yung Mercato Favorites Food Delivery. We invite you, please, mag-order kayo sa Mercato Favorites Food Delivery dahil tinutulungan po namin yung aming mga malilit na negosyante, mga food businesses, para makakita sila, para makaroon sila ng livelihood, para makabayad sila ng mga sweldo sa kanilang mga empleyado. Please buy food from our small vendors on Mercato Central. So please visit our Facebook page para makatulong tayo sa ating mga malilit na negosyo para tumayo ulit habang may krisis. Lastly, Health Fight Help fight the COVID-19 outbreak dito sa Pilipinas. We have our good friends, We Care. Ang ibig sabihin ng We Care, We Connect, Act, and Respond to Emergencies. Ito po ay isang non-profit emergency response platform that connects yung mga individuals or groups na gustong tumulong sa ating mga emergency and support organizations. Kagaya ng mga ospital na kinakailangan or really, really need ng mga assistance in this time of crisis. Itong platform na po ito ay 100% free at bukas na po para sa pledges at requests ninyo. Ito po ay galing sa Cortex, isang subsidiary ng Concepcion Industrial Corporation. Let's help our medical frontliners in their fight against COVID-19 by pledging yung much-needed resources. You can go online right now, visit wecare.ph or join their FB page, facebook.com slash wecareplatform. Again, ako po si RJ Ledesma. Salamat sa lahat mga nakinig from all around the world dito po sa ating Sago Negosyo Mentor Me Online. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home. Sana may natutunan kayo. Maraming salamat po ulit. God bless to all of you. Prosperity cannot only be for the few. And focused on the sector that is the most challenging is the agri-sector. Agriculture and agribusiness have played and continue to play an important role as a driver for social and inclusive growth and true agriculture-related value-adding activities. Since 2016, the Office of the Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship has helped our agripreneurs achieve success and bring about prosperity for all. Now, marking its 15th year, Go Negosyo, together with the Department of Agriculture, in partnership with Shopee. Go even further to revolutionize the agri-sector and empower our rice farmers in this age of digitalization. Introducing the Magri app, an online free-for-all rice market. Magri allows consumers to search and buy produce directly from nearby local rice farmers. Users can also view updates on rise suggested retail price and seasonal item demands. Magri is an innovative tool that promotes inclusive and sustainable growth. And together, we will rise for the Filipino rise farmers. Agri is really the game changer. It is the solution to the biggest problem in this country, poverty. I believe that by unity, cooperation, and hard work, we shall achieve our aspiration for our country. Let us work together to realize our hopes and dreams for our people and nation. The Magri app. Download now.